Well, welcome back to the Art of Boat Building. Um, in episode 10, when I installed the keel and put in these bronze bolts, uh, one of the viewers uh, asked about how they were sealed in there. And that reminded me that I had forgotten to put this cotton wadding on each bolt. Um, so I have done that. I've loosened each one and done that. So what will happen is this cotton will um, act as a, as a sealant in there that if it gets wet, it'll seal up and seal that hole. Um, so that is a traditional way that that is done. Um, so now that I have uh, finished up this last bolt, we can uh, carry on with finishing up uh, some odds and ends that we need to do uh, before we get ready for planking. Um, so we're going to do all of that in this episode of The Art of Boat Building. My name is Bob Emser. I'm a sculptor and a boat builder. My sculptures have always been inspired by nautical and aeronautical imagery. In fact, sometimes people passing by my studio would ask if I'm building a boat. I've always enjoyed the artistry of wooden boats. It seems like I've been building boats for over 40 years, and now I'm building sculptures that float. Welcome to the Art of Boat Building. Well, I was just making a list of all the odds and ends that uh, need to do the boat uh, to get ready for planking. Um, so one of the things uh, we need to do is to cut some plugs to uh, plug all of the holes where the keel bolts are. So uh, one thing will be to uh, cut those plugs and then to um, glue them in uh, to the keel. Uh, the next thing that we then need to do is to uh, clean up that 5200 sealant uh, that I used as a bedding compound between the bed log and the keel. Uh, there's some squeeze out in some places, so uh, it's uh, fully cured now, so we'll just be able to clean that up with a uh, um, utility knife. Uh, the next thing is to uh, shape the stem. And what I mean by shape the stem is get that curve of the stem and the keel to become one nice fared curve. Um, uh, the next thing here is to cut the rabbit. Uh, if you remember on the stem, the rabbit stopped at a certain point um, before we got the keel attached. And now we need to make that rabbit uh, continue right into the keel so it's one continuous um, groove. And uh, the final thing here is to fair out the frames. So um, with that, let's go to the drill press and cut some plugs. Well, the uh, next step that we have to do um, on the boat is to plug all of those holes where those uh, bronze carriage bolts uh, attach the keel to the floor timbers. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting some plugs with a plug cutter. Uh, this particular plug cutter is made by Snappy Tools. And uh, this is not a commercial, uh, but I really happen to like these um, cutters. One of the reasons is that it has four cutters uh, on the head, and uh, as it cuts down, it creates a very slight taper and a, a rounded foot at the top, so that when you cut those plugs, uh, they're easy to insert into the hole, and they fit really nice and snug. Um, so I'm going to continue to cut some plugs. Uh, we need 26 of them uh, to uh, plug all the holes on the boat.
now that I've got all of the plugs cut, you can uh, see how nicely tapered they are so that they'll fit into the holes real easily. Uh, you can see that uh, they'll just pop right in here. So what I'll need to do now is to mix up a little glue and um, plug the holes. Here on the last few, uh, this uh, epoxy that I mixed up, I mixed a little um, fiber fill in there also to give it a little, so that it wouldn't be quite so runny. And take a plug and make sure that the grain is oriented the same way. In there, get a little tap, and we're good. Next one. It's good to have a little more than you need, so if there's a little squeeze out, it's okay. All right, so a couple more, and um, then we'll let these cure before we cut them off. The other thing that we want to do is to go along and clean any squeeze out that has happened where we put the sealant on here. Uh, now it's really fully dried and cured, so we can take a, a knife and cut along here. Now that we've got all of the glue cleaned up, now what we need to do is to fare the stem and the keel in together so that they have one continuous curve. So I'm going to try to get the bulk of it off with my power plane. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, now that I've got the, this sort of curve fared in here, I need to take this taper and, cur and taper that in to um, this taper on the keel. Okay, um, looks pretty good. Uh, now our next step is to take this rabbit and continue it up so that it meets the rabbit up here. So to do that, we'll get some carving tools.
Well, that feels pretty good. You can almost uh, tell more about if it's fared out properly just by the way that it feels. Um, so, uh, got the rabbits cut, and uh, now our next step is to uh, fare out the uh, frames, and uh, I think that's the last thing on our list for today. So now that we've got the rabbit cut, we need to go through and fare out the uh, frames so that, the, that the, when we do put the plank on there, it'll fare out very nicely. Um, so um, for an example here, here at uh, station nine, the um, frame fits the bottom of that rabbit and the bottom of the keel very nicely. Uh, same thing is true here at seven, but eight, is not quite as good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a small piece of oak like this and mark it at the bottom of the keel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to taper this back so that we have a nice, e easily fared frame. So I'll take this over to the bandsaw and cut a wedge. I've got this little wedge cut. Uh, see how it fits right here and makes that frame meet the bottom of the keel uh, quite nicely. So what I'll do is I'll go through uh, all of the uh, frames to make sure that they fit properly and set them up there. I already have one here cut for frame 10. Uh, and once I do that, then I'll uh, mix up some glue and glue them all on there. Uh, and then we'll be uh, one step closer to planking. Well, I was just uh, checking the list uh, that we had made earlier of all the things I wanted to get accomplished, and it looks like uh, we got them all done. So um, it's been a good day. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all the support you've given this channel, either by subscribing or becoming a Patreon, or just leaving a constructive comment. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't, if you're not already a Patreon, uh, please consider in doing so. It's, uh, you can pick a level that you're comfortable with, and every little bit of support helps in uh, being able to produce these videos. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.